Hey, this is Trip from TripAdvice.com, and welcome to a special presentation today. We are talking about the dirty things to say to a girl. And yes, I have some lines that you can just copy and use when you're talking dirty to a girl. Now, this is something that can be used. Uh, well, I'll go over that in just a minute. You can use it really in many different situations, but the point is and why I made this video is because you do need to learn the dirty things to say to a girl. You need to learn dirty talk and you need to get a little bit of an introduction to it because girls like, I should actually say, girls love dirty talk. They like it, it turns them on. Uh, you know, one of the things that, that turns women on a lot is, you know, verbal seduction, right? So they read a lot of those romance novels and they watch things like Twilight. And of course, I'm generalizing here, but a lot of women do really like that stuff and a lot of it comes from the verbal side of things. So talking dirty to a girl is definitely a great skill to have because they get super turned on by it. So in a second here, I'm going to give you kind of the why and explain to you why this stuff works and when to use it, uh, which I kind of already did a little bit, but we'll go deeper into that. And then I'm going to give you some prime examples that you can use exact lines to say to turn a girl on. Now, before we get into that, I want to tell you about a new, brand new, unless you have this already, because I think a few of you had it if you're on my email list, uh, but if you're not, then I want you to get this, Top 10 Texting Mistakes. Okay, this is completely free, no charge, just go to this uh, right here, click on the screen or click in the description below, and it's going to be a free video telling you about the Top 10 Texting Mistakes, and you can learn all about that and uh, basically just teaching you what not to do and what's causing all of the problems when you're texting and not getting replies. So go check that out again. Click here on the screen or below in the uh, description. Okay, cool. So let's move on to what's the goal? So what is the goal? I always start off with what's the goal because you really need to understand why you're doing this. Okay, again, like I said earlier, it's a way to be more sexual with a girl and turn her on. Dirty talk is super powerful and it's going to help with turning a girl on when you guys are already getting intimate okay so understand that when you know that then it actually makes sense because we can't just have you uh, just start saying these things out of the blue these are very powerful powerful statements and questions which you'll see in just a minute okay and the rules yes there are rules okay you got to do this when you know she likes you, okay? So, for example, you're not going to use one of these lines going up to a girl at a bar, you know, meeting a girl wherever. You know, that's not going to happen until you know when she likes you. You know, I have tons of videos basically explaining to you when a girl is attracted to you, when she's interested. So, go check those out. Um, but you got to know that this is not for the very, very, very beginning. This is for when you already know she's attracted. So, read this here. It's meant to increase attraction, not to create it, right? Other videos on my channel teach you how to create attraction. This is meant to increase the attraction that is already there and make it more powerful. That's why you need to learn dirty talk, okay? Because it increases the attraction and the bond and the chemistry between you and the girl, okay? All right, when do you start talking dirty? Well, you can do it via text. You can do it over the phone or you can do it when you're in person or when you guys are in the bedroom together and you guys are about to have sex or maybe you're already having sex. Okay, so that's a cool thing is you can use this a lot. You can do it with the texting, which is AKA sexting. Okay, but I don't want you to just text these things. I want you to also use this in person. It can be even more powerful that way. Okay, so make sure that you definitely use it in all these little avenues, the, all these mediums, texting over the phone and definitely in person or in bed. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. Here's the first one. And these don't really have much of an order. It kind of gets a little bit more intense as the text, or it's not the text. These are um, these statements as these statements go on here on the text. Okay. But you're going to really use these um, in various manners, which I'll go over right now. So I've been thinking about you all day. Okay. I've been thinking about you all day. This is going to turn her on just knowing that her knowing that you are thinking about her, aka you desiring her, which is a big turn on for women, which I talked about in a lot of my videos, that desire translates to her being turned on and being attracted to you. So you can text this to her again, 
you can say this to say this to her in person. Maybe you're like on a third or fourth date. And by the way, there's a little note here. You know, I know that a lot of guys have been commenting recently and you know on some of my stuff and saying like, oh, this is beta. This is like stuff that you know you can't be too you know show her too much. You gotta be more mysterious and and you can't be too forward. And you know you you gotta play it cool because you're hearing from a lot of other. I don't know, pickup artists or other dating coaches uh, that, you know, those weird rules. Let me tell you something. With this stuff, this stuff is really going to help you in getting girls interested, okay? Why? Because this is you coming forward, being a man, and not being nervous or shy to share your sexual feelings with her and to share your attraction with her. Again, if you do this too soon, you do this when she's not attracted, yes, it's going to come off beta or it's going to come off weak and all that stuff. But when you know she's attracted to you, that's the point. Okay, When you know she's hooked on you, that is when you can start using a lot of this stuff that I say to accelerate or increase the attraction. So don't worry about this being too much or too over the top Okay, if you know that she likes you. So that's just a little disclaimer here. So I've been thinking about you all day. Okay, You're a bad girl, aren't you? That's probably something that you would say more in person. Uh, you can text that too. I don't know if you'd really say it over the phone. It really depends on the context. But you know, you could be making out with the girl. You guys can be about to have sex or um, about to fool around. And you guys are making out and you say, oh, you're a bad girl, aren't you? Now, I know this is kind of funny. It is a little cheesy. Let me tell you something. My voice keeps cracking. Uh, there's no way around this, okay, of it being cheesy and not being cheesy. It's all kind of cheesy, okay? But when you're in the moment and you're caught up in that in that bubble of desire, it's going to work and it's going to be awesome and she's going to be really into it. But just make sure you say it with confidence. If you say it kind of scared or you're not really sure about it, then yeah, it's going to come off really weird and really cheesy. But if you, you know, have a nice little coy smile and you say it with a deep voice and try not to crack it like I've been the past minute, then it's going to come off really awesome. You're a bad girl, aren't you? Okay. Here's number three. What turns you on the most? So this is something I would do more in person or on the phone if you guys are talking. Again, don't just say it out of nowhere. You know, build up over the conversation you guys have been talking about sex or you've been talking about past relationships or past people you've dated, you know, something along those lines and just be like, hey, what turns you on the most? Like you really want to know. And this is probably maybe a better thing to say after you guys have been sexual or have you had sex or you guys have fooled around because then it doesn't come off too, um, I don't know, too creepy, you know, if you guys haven't even been intimate yet. So I would say this to her maybe after you guys have hooked up already. What turns you on the most? Like you want to know. That curiosity is going to make, is going to turn her on, right? The fact that you're curious on what pleases her and what and how she derives pleasure, what turns you on the most. So find that out. Also, this is just great information. You should know what turns her on the most because she's going to tell you and then you have to do that. Okay, and hopefully she responds and reciprocates and says, what turns you on the most? So you got to have an answer for that and be very honest with her. Okay, all right, here's the next one. You're turning me on so much right now. Again, you could text this, you could say this over the phone, but this is way more powerful in person. So when you guys are making out, like you're on the couch or you're in bed, just tell her you're turning me on so much right now. Again, you can still, this is something that you could text or sext or whatever, but when she's doing something, you can even kind of do it as a joke too. Like if she says something, you know, I don't know, like she's not doing something very interesting, you can kind of be sarcastic and say you're turning me on so much right now. So it kind of acts as like this joke, but also acts as a, uh, as a way to kind of start their dirty talk, okay? The things I'm going to do to you. This is probably better over text or maybe over phone. This is not so much something you want to do in person per se because this is a way to get her excited for when you guys finally do meet. Okay, the things I'm going to do to you. And make sure you use this ellipses in here that I have. See the, the, the dot 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 ellipses right there? Use that, okay, because when you use that, it just kind of creates more of this... Um, this mystery, you know, like you're, like you're thinking about them, like you're about to say them, but you're holding them back. Builds this curiosity, the things I'm going to do to you. Okay, very sexy. Next one, I'm going to make you scream tonight. Okay, you could text this to her. Uh, 
You could say this to her over the phone if you're going to see her. You could also say, this is a really powerful move, is like if you guys are on a date, you guys are just, you know, hanging out, or you're eating some food, you know, you're not at each other's places yet. And again, this is probably better if you guys have already been sexual with each other. Not something you really want to say if you haven't broken that, that, that seal yet. You know, if you guys haven't hooked up yet, probably not great. But if you guys have already had sex, you know, and it's great, and you guys really like each other, a great thing to say. You know, you guys are eating dinner or something, and you casually just kind of say to her, I'm going to make you scream tonight. I know that sounds kind of creepy. Like you could, you could, you might be listening to this and saying like, oh my God, that sounds like you're a serial killer. But obviously you're not going to, that's not the connotation because if you guys have already been on dates and you guys have already had sex, so it's not going to come off that way. I promise. All right, let's go to another one. This might be the last one. You're so wet right now. This is the only thing you could say to her. This is the, this is the only one I want you to say to her that has to be in person. Okay, so if you guys are in the middle of having sex or you guys are hooking up, tell her she's so wet right now. That'd be equivalent to her saying to you, oh my God, you're so hard right now. And that probably turns you on, right? That turns her on. Knowing that she is wet or that she is turned on and that you like that, she wants to know that, right? So you are so wet right now. And again, a lot of this is in delivery. You're not going to be like, oh, you're so wet right now. Obviously, that is terrible because that is a big turnoff because you're showing you're showing her that you're disgusted. No, it's got to be the opposite. You got to be like, you're so wet right now. Like you love it. Okay. Just like that. Now, okay. Whew, that was a lot. We went over some of those. If you want to learn more about texting and things to say, check out the top 10 texting mistakes right here on the screen or in the description so you can learn more about what not to say over text. Like I said, a lot of these you can say over text message, uh, but some of them you want to say in person. But use your best judgment. See what works the best. But again, don't use it just for texting. Really try to use this in person and uh, be able to build that courage to start talking dirty to her. So there you go. Go check this out. Hope this was awesome. If you're still with me, here's what I want you to do. If you want another one of these, I've got more awesome lines that you could use. We can take this even further. I can make another video. All you got to do is write in the comments, trip, I want more, exclamation point. And that's going to sound kind of funny because it's going to sound like you're talking dirty to me. Ha ha ha. Trip, I want more, exclamation point, thousand exclamation points. If I get at least 50 of those, while this is released on the first day, I will make another one and you can learn more about how to talk dirty. So there you go. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.